For nine seasons, Brian Bumgarner was an integral member of the stellar comedic ensemble of the American version of The Office. Bumgarner played Kevin Malone, one of Dunder Mifflin's accountants, who was generally regarded as pretty much the dumbest guy in The Office. Unlike some of his former castmates who went on to star in their own shows or appear in blockbuster movies, Bumgarner has kept a lower profile since The Office went off the air. Here's a look at what he's been up to, both on screen and off. Crash Pilots In the middle of the final season of The Office in 2013, Bumgartner already had an eye toward what he'd be working on next, a new comedy series for ABC. Like The Office, it was planned as a single-camera comedy set in a workplace, conceived by Office executive producer Greg Daniels and late Parks and Recreation writer and producer Harris Whittles. Bumgartner was going to play Norman, a middle manager at an airline trying to turn his life around. Unfortunately, ABC pulled the plug on the series before a pilot was shot, reportedly because executives weren't happy with the writing. Bumgartner moved from one disappointing pilot process into another the next year, when he landed a role in Amazon's Maker Shack Agency. The tween-friendly pilot was about a group of kids with a knack for inventing, who build stuff to get their classmates out of jams. Bumgartner was cast as the kid's principal. Amazon placed the pilot online for viewing by the general public, but Maker Shack Agency wasn't approved for a season-long run. Guest Roles Galore Baumgartner was a workaday actor before he landed a series regular spot on The Office, and since the show ended, he's returned to being a busy character actor on TV. Since 2013, he's landed more than a dozen guest roles, including playing a pedophile on Law & Order's Special Victims Unit, and a lapsed AA sponsor on the FX drama The Bridge. He's also done a few commercial spots, including teaming up with a barbershop quartet for Microsoft. Baumgartner has also popped up in several small films, including 2016's Ordinary World, a comedy about an aging punk rocker starring Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day. If there is any damage done to that hotel room, we will prosecute. Family Time With the rigorous shooting schedule of a network sitcom behind him, Baumgartner's had more time to focus on his personal life. In April 2014, he tied the knot with his longtime partner, Celeste Eccleson. The wedding went down in the backyard of Baumgartner's Los Angeles home and also reportedly served as a mini office reunion. About a year later, Baumgartner and Ackleson welcomed a baby girl. Baumgartner joked on Instagram that his daughter looks forward to catching up on all the old episodes of The Office once her eyes adjust to life. Tea Time Baumgartner got really into golf in his theater days as a way to decompress while traveling and performing a grueling eight shows a week schedule. Baumgartner told The Daily Beast that golf was a great way to get outside, and now he's a regular on the celebrity golf tournament circuit duffing it up in the Drew Brees Celebrity Championship and the American Century Championship. In 2007, Golf Digest ranked Baumgartner at number 49 on its list of Hollywood's top 100 golfers. Anybody can compete at any level, and it's about that, competing with yourself. It's always different. Every day is different. Every course is different. Company Man Baumgartner is a big sports fan, and he's a veteran of entertainment history. He combined the two and started his own media company, 3Bs Entertainment, a reference to his full name, Brian Bruce Bumgartner. Among the company's projects are an NBC sports feature called Golf Therapy, Life, Lessons, and the Pursuit of Par, and a scripted comedy for college humor called Turtle Race. Poker Face Casino Night, The Office's second season finale, revealed a surprising truth about Kevin Malone. I won the 2002 $2,500 No Limit Deuce to Seven Draw Tournament at the World Series of Poker in Vegas. So, yeah. I'm pretty good at poker. While Bumgartner isn't a poker champion like his character, he is an avid player, often anting up for celebrity and charity tournaments. He told Poker News in 2013 that he did so well at one of those fundraisers, he won a seat in the actual World Series of Poker. Unfortunately, life did not quite imitate art. Bumgartner had to give up his seat to shoot the show. I suck. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.